in our locker room here, in our meeting rooms and around this building, we have hundreds of pictures up on the wall and they're all pictures from games that we've won. If there was ever a picture to put up there from a losing game, I think this would be it. Ben Watson shows the hustle, doesn't give up on the play. One of the most admired plays in football. Because of how it's a pure display of individual effort and determination, it's the chase down tackle. When I made the play, I was upset. We're getting killed 52-17. I, I didn't, it didn't mean nothing to me, nothing. Until I got in the locker room and Ralph Wilson, the owner, came right over to me. He, he bypassed every other player and he came right to me. He said, you showed me a lot today. You showed me exactly what the Buffalo Bills are all about. And I gotta tell you, from that point on, kind of meant something. And to see the fan mailboxes that were coming in in the weeks to follow, in the months to follow, by the hundreds. Every day I was getting a big box. I didn't realize what an impact a professional athlete really has. My son and I were so impressed that we had a great father and son discussion on the importance of never giving up. Even though it was meaningless, you have a group of fans here that broke down in tears for your effort. When it comes to the chase down tackle, even when it's meaningless, it still leaves quite an impression. Fly, fly, play to the end zone, and it's picked off. It's not going to make a difference. Braun Alexander with the interception. Look at Julio Jones chase him down. I know it's coming all the way back. That piece of tape right there will be clipped and shown over and over. Absolutely. Sometimes it isn't the circumstance that makes the chase down tackle special. And here's Herschel Walker. It's who got chased down and who made the tackle. Oh, he found the opening, but Atari is back. It is a foot race, but Atari diving to hold him down. Oh, the kicker ran him down, Mark. Actually, Vinatieri doesn't even have the angle on him, Randy. Closing speed. I've never used the term closing yes. speed with a kicker. Under five minutes left in the half, and it's not in the air. It's picked off by Gary and Potter. And Potter is inside the 40, the 30. Larry, Larry Allen. I can't believe it. Be a break. This guy weighs 325 pounds. Runs down a very speedy linebacker. I'm telling you, that's one of the most impressive athletic feats I have ever seen. <laughs> that's amazing. Sometimes the chase down tackle is more than just a spectacle. It's a game changer. You got to give Malcolm Jenkins some credit right there for hustling to get down there because you never know what happens after this. The Bucks had first and goal at the one. Malcolm Jenkins and the Saints defense didn't let them score. What a goal line stand. You can look back and say, remember that time Malcolm Jenkins just would not give up, track down Vincent Jackson. New Orleans ended up winning by a touchdown. In the 80s, the king of the chase down tackle was Daryl Green. North set and look out. Uh oh, this could be bye bye. He has great speed down the sideline. Tony Dorsett. And look who caught him. And only one man on the field could catch him. Daryl Green, the world class sprinter from Texas A&I. I bet he was totally shocked that Daryl Green would catch him. Tony Dorsett runs about it four and three itself. In addition to Tony Dorsett, Green also ran down another Hall of Famer, Eric Dickerson. It's taken over 30 years, but the NFL may finally have a new king of the chase down tackle, Cardinals safety, Buda Baker. Snap to Hodges, quick throw to the right, flat to Johnson, caught at the 20, and Pat P whiffed on a tackle. Johnson reverses field. He's loose on the far side of the 20, and the 15 cuts right to the 10 to the 5, and tackled at the two-yard line by Baker, a touchdown-saving tackle. Buda Baker, somebody better get a hat on Buda Baker. Buda Baker's a bad, Buda Baker bad, man. Buda Baker's a badass dude. Watson, that's a running and hitting everything. I mean, I feel like at a young age, uh, I always ran to the football. You know, that was installed into me. 
effort is all about yourself. That's not about no one else but yourself. That stuck hard with me, and you know, I've been running to the bar ever since. Seahawks run the ball off the right side, and a big hit by Buda Baker at the 26 yard line. You came up and crushed that dude. Oh man, four speed. It was crazy. Like that, boy. How'd you do that? No fear. No fear. I ain't scared of nobody. Man, that dude right there is a hell of a football player. Hey, dude, you're a hell of a football player. Much respect.